Okay, hey you guys, my name is Destiny Hope, owner of Destiny Hope uh, Candles, and I will be making test candles for my new jars today, in which I'm going to go ahead and show you a little sneak peek. <laughs> Y'all, these jars are so beautiful. <laughs> They're so beautiful. I am so happy. But yeah, you guys are going to see that. Welcome to my uh, channel, and welcome to this beautiful mess <laughs> of uh, commentary. But because of the presto, the whole presto pot thing, I'm just in uh, my kitchen uh, melting it down in the doily, the double boiler method uh, way. Just going and doing this because these candles are already made, so they've already been to the temperature. Because these candles were like made a, a while ago. But so what I'm doing is, like I said in my uh, last video, is that I'm rehousing the um, candles that I made into the new containers, so I don't waste anything. Because all I, I don't have to do is just melt this wax down and then pour it over nails containers. So, like I said, two of those 7-ounce containers can make, um, you know, one of these 11-ounce uh, candles with these 15-ounce jars, jars. So, that's what I'm doing right now. And also, I think it's 11 ounces from my research that I did. So, um, when I pour it, I will be, like, measuring. Well, not measure, but weighing it to actually see what it is. But, yeah, so, like, everything... All I have to do is just melt this down completely and then pour it over because this has already been to the temperature. It already has the fragrance oils and all this stuff. So, yeah. So, if my last candles weren't selling and I don't love those jars anymore, and maybe my customers don't either. So, I'm just going to, and thank God, as you see, I'm going to put up here with those clips that I just did for my uh, Instagram at Destiny Hope Candles. Go visit that. Um, but as I did over there, I just, um, my wax is really soft, so thank God. All I had to do is scoop it all out and just put it here so I can remelt it. And then, also, I'm also just doing it, say, if I don't feel comfortable taking all that stuff out, um, and I just put those candles uh, already made for um, on sale, then I want to make new candles and don't feel comfortable doing this uh, anymore. Uh, what I am going to do, I'm going to use these to test. So, this one specifically is for a tester anyway. Basically... What I'm doing is I'm te I'm using this uh, older wax, so I don't have to use my new wax that I just bought and new fragrance. Uh, well, uh, yeah, my fragrance on and stuff like that. I don't have to use anything new. I could just use an older candle, and um, no, you know, not older, but like I already made candle that I made a little while ago, and it just poured in there. So, so one, I can uh, see exactly how much wax it takes because this is 14 ounces, and it's a 15 ounce jar, um, and it can hold up to I think basically 15 ounces, I believe. Um, but I think of wax, maybe 12, 13, maybe, you know, you know, fully to like the, the field line or whatever. So this should be more than enough wax to see exactly where, um, 
the wax line is that I, I will prefer and also you know what to label uh, my candles as and also I'm using this to also test uh, the wick since it's a new wick so I'm using this to test the wick so I don't have to waste any um, new materials as well as uh, test for burn time as well so yeah so one more thing when me doing it this way is actually reading pretty good so I don't know I don't know maybe for right now since I do smaller batches you know I just you know keep using this method since it seems to actually work and it doesn't get too hot like with the presto pot and then I'm just going to save up because I actually thank god I found um a uh a large wax melter that holds like I think eight liters of wax I actually found one for about eighty dollars with free shipping so you know I hope to get that around Christmas you know for a gift or try to give it myself um, and hopefully no one takes it, but yeah, that was the cheapest one I could find and also it holds more wax than um, the other ones up there for a hundred something with shipping on it So I pray I can get that because that'll actually help me one with larger batches and stuff like that It help me enter wholesale e easier. It'll be more efficient and also I shouldn't have to take the uh, temperature until um, you know, obviously I, uh, you know, I, you know, I use a little spout and the wax comes in a presto pot and then I can take the temperature to see, you know, is it at a good temperature to then add the fragrance oil. So that's all I should have to check at that point because the actual melter has dials. The actual melter has dials, um, you know, for you and it tells you automatic, basically you just set it to where obviously it needs to be. And it's not like a presto pot where like, oh, you set it at warm and you don't know where it's sell. You set it at 200, but it could be past 200. It could be not even touch 200. Who knows? You know, it actually tells you like all in Celsius. It also tells you, you know, specifically 180, 185, 200, 220. So that's what I really need. And I think I'm going to find a good price one. And I'm going to go ahead and pour this. Okay, so I'm back in the studio and taking the temperature. And it's here so thank god this is like the perfect temperature and this is my setup for this because i'm going to obviously like tear it and i'm doing this you know to keep it protected and also it was a bit of i think oil is right there and i don't want it to get on my jar since it's clear um yeah i am so excited it looks so beautiful um but yeah i'm gonna tear it and then i'm going to pour this so i can see exactly where it is and i did it this way because for some reason like this bends and i don't like that and i feel like it's inaccurate um i don't think it is because i've tried it like in my um other video that you guys are gonna see maybe it's this video i don't know it's one of those videos but basically you're gonna see me actually it's my uh the next video um i think i remember that but it's in the next video of me uh making some test candles for actually ooh, y'all thank god my hand was over this trying to do all of this and my i hit the oh thank god okay oh man but yeah these candles over here are what i made in the next video and you guys don't know the scent yet yeah you do because this was a haul my bad but yeah so i made those here and what i did was um i think when i was actually measuring the uh wax i um i measured it on here first and then i took it up and then measured on here and it was about the same so i don't know it just makes me feel like it's not as accurate but it is it's just like really bendy and i don't like that but yeah <laughs> 